Hello. So, I didn't weigh myself today because well, I do it every day. And I'm not sure if I slacked or not. Because the only exercise I did was on the exercise ball while I was working. In other words, I swapped my desk chair out for, you know, the benefit of working at home. And was <laughs> bouncing on it. And exercising on it while I was working because, you know, why not? And of course, Cisco's here today. Hi, Sissy. Sissy, Sissy. Hey. Look at him. He's half asleep. He's been asleep all afternoon. Over there on the couch with the blanket. Being super comfy. The one thing I did accomplish this evening is, though, that I haven't shaved my legs at all since, like, quarantine started a year ago, <laughs> which is pretty bad, I know, but I don't care. So I nared them. Oh, okay. Let me be more specific. I nared up to the knees. So, oh, no. Those pretty, well, pretty-esque, almost hairless legs, because I'm sure there's some in this. But that's okay. I also shaved my armpits. Which I also haven't done since quarantine. <laughs> and I know that sounds ridiculous. But, you know, screw it. I don't know why I wanted to do it, but I did. So I did it. I'm pretty sure it self counts as self care. I'm not sure. I don't know. It probably does. It made me happy to do it, because now my legs are smooth, and when I go to bed, they'll be sm really smooth on the sheet. I only use the bottom sheet. I don't like the top sheet. But it'll be really smooth on that. So that will be a happy thing. So I put Nair after dinner. I put Nair on my legs and did the dishes while I was working. <laughs> and, well, Cisco slept. I want to actually exercise tomorrow. I gotta figure that. I have the chiropractor in the morning, the really good one. So, if you're in the Indianapolis area and you want a really good chiropractor, even though they don't take insurance, but they're not expensive, just send me a message. I'll, I'll shoot you some information. Cause dude is amazing, like legit amazing. But yeah, I'm just sitting here chilling with the puppers. We've been watching ghost videos, or okay, I've been watching ghost videos on YouTube, you know, you see those ones that are like, oh, 13 videos that'll make you wet your pantaloons, I think one of them was called that, or something like that, or 10 videos not to watch in the dark, or videos not to watch when you're home alone, you know, that kind, so I've been watching like a crap ton of those. Like, a crap ton. And horror movies. I never watched any horror movies or anything like that until, like, September. This past September. All of a sudden, I was on horror movie kick. If you have any recommendations for good horror movies, hit me in the comments below. I don't care how cheesy they are. There's some really cheesy ones out there. Love them. But, yeah, so we've been watching the ghost videos. You know, the whole, oh. You won't sleep tonight if you watch these videos. So, of course, I'm going to watch them. And, like, 99% of them, I can tell them. Like, I'm talking back to the TV going, no, okay, they did this. This is how they did that. Like, there is this one there in a uh, defunct hospital of some kind. And there were curtains at the end of the hallway. You know, the hospital curtains that you pull. And there was some on the left and some on the right. And the ones on the left pulled back okay okay there's probably someone back there which pretty much gets confirmed when they're like oh yeah and the 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 photographer looked you know to see if someone was back no dude walked up there and angled the camera to the right not where they pulled back instead of the left where they pulled back which pretty much guarantees there's someone behind the curtains I mean, if you're going to fake a ghost video, be consistent. 
Put some effort into it. Throw a jump scare in there. I'm all good with that. It won't matter to me that you fake the ghost video if you throw a jump scare in there. Scare me. I'd love it. Doesn't happen often, so I would love it. That sounds so strange. Like, I saw one yesterday, and I sent it to my two besties. Um, because this dude thought his house was haunted. Which, okay, there's some weird stuff going on, but it's easily explainable, you know. Could be string. Could be a buddy playing a prank. Whatever. But dude thought the ghost was being active and grabbed the knife. And it's like, okay. So you think your house is haunted. Congratulations. What do you think that knife's going to do against a ghost? <laughs> Mind you, the alleged ghost is still moving stuff and you can't see it. So, how are you going to fight an invisible ghost with a knife? Like a steak knife, it was. It's like, what are you going to do? Oh, hey, Mr. Ghost, materialize there for one second. Er, er, er. Oh, wait, it's just going through. Um, no, it doesn't work that you don't go for a ghost with a knife. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I'm cracking on these videos. I do believe in the paranormal. I don't believe in the bubkiss videos that are easily faked. I mean, that's two different things. You know, show me a real one. I won't dispute it. I'll encourage it. Show me a fake one. I won't tell you exactly how they did it. And this puffer's over here with the blanket. I bet you he's close to falling off. Hopefully not, but he does that a lot. He's uh, clumsy. But, yeah. So, that's today's getting healthy update. I'm not sure how that gallon is getting healthy, but I'm taking shaving my legs. Well, narrowing them as self-care. So, today was exercise on the exercise ball. Self-care. Oh, and I had no meat. I decided to make it a meatless day. Because I've decided, right, and I don't know if this makes sense, but this is what I've decided. I've decided that I am not buying any groceries outside of, like, milk, eggs, fruit, veg. That's different. But no groceries other than milk, eggs, fruit, veg until all of the groceries I have now are gone. So I was calculating it, and the amount of meat and fish I have will not add up to the amount of, like, other stuff. So there's going to be some meatless days in there, not just, you know, because of Lent on Fridays, you know. But that's okay. It'll still work. It's experimentation. So, but yeah. I think it'll go good. I've only decided this at the beginning of the month, which was yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful on this whole thing of not buying groceries other than meat, other than fruit, veg, milk, and eggs until all of the others are gone. So, we'll see how that goes. You know, it's part of my whole, I want to spend money less. Because basically, basically, and this is part of the reason I decided to get healthy, like, I mean, I need to get healthy for my health, but this is like, I'm using it as my motivating point. I want to go to Joshua Tree National Park. I want to go next November, and I just picked that at random because it's not busy at work. I should be able to get two and a half weeks off, which is what I want to do. And then I want to take two and a half weeks off work and drive 1,995 miles from my house to Joshua Tree, right? I haven't decided if I'm renting a car or not or using my car. That I'll decide later on. The other option is, instead of driving it, packing everything, non-fire starter, of course, nothing dangerous, in boxes and taking the Amtrak and then renting a car when I get out there. Which the Amtrak would only run about 500 bucks and then, you know, renting a car would be a couple hundred but that's still not bad. So those are my two my two that I'm waffling back and forth on is either driving it or am tracking it. Both would be awesome. Like legit awesome. Amtrak would probably be more relaxing. I'm but I haven't decided yet. 
I don't want to fly that. I love flying, don't get me wrong. But it would be like if I flew, I'd have to mail my camping stuff to my friend that lives out there because that's what I want to go out there for is I want to go camping in Joshua Tree for like a week and a half, two weeks, depending which way, motor trips, rotation, you know, probably a week and a half. Uh, I want to go camping in a tent. Um, and I want to go climbing. I've wanted to go climbing for a long time. The climbing gyms around here, though, will not do lessons until you're 250 pounds. I am 323.2 pounds until I weigh myself tomorrow, probably. Might be the day after that. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I am not light enough to do climbing lessons. But I want to go climbing in Joshua Tree and climbing all over the boulders and stuff like that. So the boulders thing is fine because I've done that in the Smokies um, in Tennessee. So, but I want to actually like go vertical, not just somewhat vertical, horizontal on the boulders. Um, so that's the goal. And I don't think my current health, I could go camping for two and for a week and a half in Joshua Tree with nothing nearby. Thus, I have to get my health in better control. I want to lose weight, but that's not the main goal. The main goal is getting my health in better control. So, I'm insulin resistant. I've got migraines, crap like that. And the thing is, they're not going to get under better control unless I lose weight. So, it's a catch-22. To improve my health, I have to lose weight. So, that's where I'm at. But, y'all have a good one. Peace.